is a mission of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the May 30th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. That's what most people do. Now, be a pioneer of your future, folks. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. How about we make sure we have an extraordinary one? And, of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life, life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out as best as we can, what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly than that, for this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we understand. We've got you covered. Go ahead and let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow 46 points. S&P's up 6. NASDAQ 100 up 23. Russell 2000, slightly red, down 77 pennies. Semis are up 8 points. NASDAQ, uh, New York Stock Exchange 21. Wilshire up 48. Uh, Trannies are down 24. So we've got a bit of a mixed market. Spot volatility index down uh, 56 pennies trading out at 1734, still well above its 50 day exponential moving average. Uh, gold trading right at about resistance on a weekly basis in that 1292 level or 1291.80. Silver's up nine pennies, light speed crude back a buck seven. Leading the charts, the upside, it is Viva Systems uh, up nearly $19. Uh, Penumbra up nine, Dollar General up nine, Chipotle up nine. To the downside, PBH. Corp down 13 bucks. Palo Alto Networks off 13. Uh, Digi Mark down about 10. And uh, so plenty to look at. Of course, we're going to go ahead and look at what you want to look at. And uh, what you want to look at, we've got a couple of requests already in. So we do have call ahead seating here. So let's go to our first call ahead seating. This is coming from Craig E. Craig says, Greetings, Steve. Greetings to you. Would you take a look at Toll, T O L, Toll Brothers for me today? Seems to be approaching a prior swing point area. Thanks in advance. Well, you're welcome, Craig. So if we go take a look at uh, what Craig is looking at here for Toll Brothers. Um, approaching a prior swing, let's pull this daily. So the prior swing, let's just expand the daily time frame chart that Craig is referring to. He's referring to this swing. Let's put a yellow line across it along with price. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Here's the swing point I believe Craig is looking at, which is the swing point from the trading session of March the 20th. The high of that was 35.45. The low was 34.34. Now, first, we don't know where it's going to close today, that being Toll Brothers. But if it does close below 35.45, Craig, and you're below a daily profile. Today, the bounce has found resistance at the bottom of that profile. It was 35.74. The high today, the 35.74. What this says, volume or not, once you close inside a swing point, you can go test the bottom of that swing point. If you're coming in with volume, you are more likely to than not. Now, the volume that you're referring to has 2.7 million shares, only 821. You're pulling back with light volume. I don't know um, other than what you pointed out, what you're trying to do with Toll Brothers here as it comes to that swing point, I'm going to assume, bad assumption perhaps, that you're trying to buy Toll Brothers out here. So because of the price action today, you're 
if you're an aggressive trader, wait for this to test 3434, 34, reject that level, do it on lighter volume, and then step in. The more conservative trader would say, well, that's interesting that today's high was the bottom of that daily profile. Bullish in structure, nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. Uh, it failed yesterday, it formed yesterday, and that would say, you know what, sit tight. Sit tight, sit tight, wait for a close above 35.74 unless we get some other clear signals. Is there another clear signal? Well, if we put up the daily time frame chart using Stevie's other uh, tools out here, we'll see that today is likely to be the uh, TD setup eight count. That's different than Jay's eight ball that he's got for being able to project the future out here. But you've got uh, count number eight is what it looks like uh, of the nine count. You won't know if you have had a nine count until tomorrow, but the bottom when something is moving lower, it can occur on days 8 and 9 to the day following. So you're in the range. So I would be watching, and I would wait for more signals, so to speak, than what you've got today. Now, the weekly chart doesn't look really that great, uh, other than the fact that you've got support, which was at 34.85. The low this week is 34.95. So that's a little bit of a bonus, so to speak, out there. But when I take a look at the weekly chart out here, Mm, not good trading below Stevie's green line at 36.82. So, uh, Craig, I think you need to just be a bit more patient. You may get that bottom signal. It could be today. I don't think it's today. It could be tomorrow, Friday. Maybe it's Monday. Or maybe it's not at all. But you do have Toll Brothers on a daily basis pulling back into a swing point with light volume. But it's rejected a really key level of support, which is now resistance. That number, 3574. Hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Next question coming in from, um, from uh, Sat. Sat, uh, good afternoon, Steve. Good afternoon to you. Can you take a look at F5? We did that yesterday and suggest an entry point. Last time we discussed, you said you can wait, and I'm waiting to buy a few shares. Well, let's go take a look at F5 Networks. Maybe it wasn't F5. Maybe it was something else that we looked at yesterday. Yeah, it was something else. I was thinking FireEye. Oh, nice job there spilling the water on my nice wood desk. That always, uh, that always adds a nice shine to it. Sorry, folks. Just doing a little bit of housekeeping here, um, you know. Can't, can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Hey, wait, really? I can do that. What I can't do is drink water and speak at the same time. So F5 Networks, let's get right down to it here. F5, and the question is, looking for a bottom, really a bottoming pattern out here. So if we take a look at F5 Networks, one of the things that we know is that it's not yet. It's not yet out here, Sot. Uh, you know, price is moving lower, doing less relative energy. No bullish reversal signaling yesterday. Uh, today, pulling back under Stevie's red line. Nothing more bearish than a failed uh, bullish... Uh, well, nothing more bearish than a uh, falling price oscillator below zero. Uh, that's what you've got right now. You're in wave number five to the downside. I think uh, the daily chart says you've got to be patient. The weekly chart says, boy, you got to be patient. You're down below the bottom of its profile. You're also down below its breakout support level. That was the week of April 13th. That low out there was 139.69. Should have held, didn't hold. Uh, now this says this might be an A to B equals CD to the downside. That A to B equals CD pattern, just so you get a feel for what uh, the price projection area is, around 123.60. So I believe with regard to F5, you still need to be patient. Currently trading at 136.65. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Dow's up 58. We'll be right back. Hey, I want your question too. So write in, call in, or just text me. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, so if you watch us on Tiger TV, the screen you see in front of me is the uh, coffee futures, the July coffee futures contract out there. John in Sarasota uh, wanted some input on the ETF that emulates the uh, coffee contracts out here, which is JO. And so in order to do that, what you and I are going to do is go take a look at the actual coffee contract. What we can't see here, John, is prices over the daily profile uh, right now above the weekly profile, 35.44, and uh, not enough information on the monthly, no profile-wise. It's too too new of an ETF out there. But uh, this says, say, bullish mode daily and weekly. <coughs> Excuse me. If we come over and take a look at the daily <coughs> whoa, time frame chart to try to give you a feel. Now, by the way, we're getting the same message here inside the actual July coffee contract. This week, we can see that uh, it, it does appear there's a change in trend out there, John. So being on the long side of this is the correct side of this. And when I say it looks like we're seeing a change of trend, let me just do this here for us. I'm going to turn off the daily profiles. Uh, because it's really the weekly profiles that are showing us the potential for the change in trend out here. See how we now have, we may have, so you'll want to watch this tomorrow. The number is 100.68, but it appears that we're going to have a close above the top of a weekly profile. Coffee hasn't seen that since um, October of 2018 out there. So if coffee can, the coffee contract can close above, that would su suggest to me a change in trend. Now, where is price headed to? Most likely, the next area is up in this 113 level, where it had previously found some resistance. So you're 102, so you've got more movement to the upside, John. That's what I see when I take a look at uh, Joe and uh, the coffee contract. Let's go out to Denver and speak with uh, Ron. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Hello, Steve. Thanks for taking my call. 
Sure, my pleasure. Um, I uh, I bought calls Friday on Amaron AMRN about A-M-R-N, seventeen and a half. Okay. Cost me a dollar thirty-eight, and they go out to June twenty-eighth. And I just wondered um, on this. The, this is a company involved in cholesterol and and triglycerides. And what, uh, what kind of rights? Triglyceride. Ty, you know, that's triglycerides. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. I got it. I got it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my gal, I did it for a personal reason because my gal had to use this product and just, it, it's an amazing, it's a miracle the last three oh. weeks. Oh, well, that's, that's, uh, hey. Should listen, I tell that... you what it is? I mean, her, her triglycerides, she was really sick three weeks ago, you know, her pancreas is hurting. I told her to go to the hospital. And I, and I had looked up this company, had a, uh, had been FDA approved for triglycerides, supposed to bring down 50%. Okay. She, told the do- she, she went to the doctor and asked for the drug. She's feeling she's feeling a hundred percent better walking around. Her triglycerides dropped from twenty three thirty to two thirty three. Wow. Okay. I mean, well, that's, good for that's, her. That's a and, miracle. And, and, and good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Um, for, yeah. I'm so so happy look, for her. But anyway, success, I, I bought success, calls from the company, and I just wonder what you, what how it looks technically. Yeah. Well, look, we're we're glad to hear about the uh, the health. Of, of your partner out there and uh, as far as the health of the stock is concerned um, you know what it did yesterday and let's just take a look at the uh, daily time frame um, and by the way this thing has had a huge gap to the upside so I don't know you know what they released in September of 2018 this is a daily time frame chart that we're looking at um, but a huge gap because this went from the day before in the uh, uh, the three dollar range and uh, the very next day, the low was 951. So I, I wouldn't FDA worry about approval. Probably yeah. when they got their FDA approval on this drug. Yeah. Um, but right now, what it looks like, um, what you'd like to see is right now it's above resistance on a daily basis, and that's 1828. That's the top of that profile. It actually gapped up slightly yesterday, had volume of 20 million shares behind it, so it was actually a pretty decent volume day out there considering. And it looks like this may want to make a run, I don't know over what period of time, uh, back to the top of this uh, what looks like a consolidation area, at least the top of it in the 23 range out here. The weekly says uh, what you really want to see take place, Ron, by tomorrow, what you'd love to see, is a close above the top of that box, 1869. If it doesn't, does it mean, you know, it's it's not it's not going to work out. You're, no, not necessarily. But but it would be another nice piece of information for you would be to see okay. a weekly close above 1869, and then that says okay, then it should target the 23 uh, level out there. So it's really the weekly time frame chart where this thing has really been consolidating a bit sideways here uh, for the last uh, since the uh, end of April. Um, so that that's what I see when I take a look what buyers and sellers are doing with the stock. Super. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, you bet. And uh, great story. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. That was Ron in Denver. And uh, so, folks, I guess if you if you do have not, I guess if you've got a triglyceride issue, uh, why don't you do what Ron did? Look up the uh, look up the stock Amarin Corp. A M R N is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, so, real quickly here, well, we got a couple minutes actually before we go to the next break. Let me just see if there's any other questions. Uh, no other questions at this stage. So let's go back there. Jay had asked a question earlier uh, in the show, which was to take a look at the market profiles. If we take a look at market profiles, here they are for you, uh, Jay. Nothing new out here, uh, so to speak. The newest profile is the one that had formed inside the NQ, but uh, price uh, closed below that level. So from a profile standpoint, I know you'll take a snapshot of this picture here. There's really no new information. Uh, the old information is right now we've got price trading below the daily and the weekly profiles out here. So not really what you and I would uh, say is a good message. However, if we have to take a look at the other charts like we did in the uh, in the uh, three minute uh, top of the hour update out there, which is if we if we only relied upon profiles, we would do ourselves a disservice. Well, Stevie will never. Did I say never? I actually meant never do you a disservice and not provide you with all of the information. And all the information means we've got to go take a look at the chart. I had mentioned the NQ uh, out there, uh, Jay. And if you take a look at the NQ, we've got two competing patterns. 
we have the potential for a bullish pattern here. So the market's trying to find a bottom because the move lower, it's 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 real, but it's it's not right now. It doesn't have the strength to actually push down there. That's like saying it, it, it's like saying you know you're working out and you do curls and so you do reps of 15 or 12 or whatever your reps might be, you know, and then your last series of reps and say you do i don't know with, with with each hand you do 30 pounds something light like that and then you know you get to like your last set maybe you do 10 sets and you're like i can't do 30 pounds i'll do 20 and you and you and you make your goal well it was going down be yeah, then you'd be called a lightweight well in in this case here that's what we're kind of nicknaming the nq right now a, a lightweight as price pushed lower. Yes, it's real, but all that really needs to happen is the cavalry must arrive. Those are the bulls. Uh, the guys that check in at 930 in the cash market, of course, these guys here, they're not they're checking in at 6 o'clock at night out here. Uh, but if we were to get a bullish reversal signal here, Jay, we'd say the bottom of the profile, it's a lagging type of an indicator, good indicator, but lagging. But right now, there's no bullish reversal signal. And even if this is a lightweight with regard to its curls, it's got its sights set on 7051 until the cavalry arrives. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 34. S&P is up five. We've got two requests for metals inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, one from, uh, I believe, Ruby wanted to take a look at copper. We'll do that uh, next. Uh, first thing we'll do is silver, since I've got that up on my screen right now, or will here momentarily. And what John was requesting was the market profiles for that. So, John, here you go in taking a look at the uh, July contract for uh, silver. Uh, the top of the daily box is 1450. We're trading at 1450 uh, as we speak right now. Um, I would say the real key level that you want to see, and we've kind of had, not kind of, we've had the, the today's bar and yesterday's bar were inside bars compared to the bar three days ago. To me, that's the, the high that's going to be most important for you. Forget about the daily profile. In other words, I'm suggesting that the uh, high. Uh, 1461 is a price level that you need to see silver close above in order to give you some type of bottoming uh, signal. Uh, that push lower, we talked about lightweight, so to speak, just kind of trying to come up with a, uh, a metaphor uh, to understand the road's momentum indicator signal. Price was also pushing lower, so it was a lightweight, so to speak, on the move lower back on May 28th. But we don't have that bullish reversal signal. Um, and that's why I'm suggesting a close above that May 28th level is going to be more important than the daily profile. If uh, silver can get its mojo, uh, then you've got a weekly profile, the bottom of which is held, 1437. And you should then get a bounce either to 1483 or the top of the box, 1517 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at hi-ho silver out here. On the weekly basis, the uh, plus here is that uh, prices come back to support the breakout area, that breakout area being December of 2018. That's where the TD set up nine count. That's when silver actually topped out here. So uh, that's a plus, that red solid line. And uh, you can see, of course, this weekly basis uh, formed that Rhodes momentum indicator, that lightweight uh, signal, so to speak, that happened on this bull sash candle the week of December the 7th out there. And that led up to the highs of the $16 range. So uh, price on the weekly has really come back to a key level of support. So things are looking okay, but um, just just okay. I think just, just okay has been called. Let me see what the 30-minute chart here for silver looks like. Curious. So you do like about this is that earlier today, uh, when I say earlier today, I'm referring to 9 o'clock this morning and again at 1030, you had price take out a 30-minute resistance level. So that's uh, pretty nice out there. Again, so you've got an, an indication of a bottom, but you also have a Gertley cell pattern that is formed, right? You can see that you can just have to draw, just draw in the A to B equals CD. It's going to be something that looks like this. Uh, give or take, and you can see it's done the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. No bearish reversal signal yet, uh, John. So here you've got a couple of kind of competing patterns. So on a 30-minute basis, uh, an act Got an absolute uh, Gartley sell pattern. It's just one that I say has not been confirmed. It's not been confirmed for really two reasons here on the 30-minute basis. That is because, one, we don't have a bearish reversal candle. And then, two, price is trading above Stevie's red line, which is 1447. So that's what I see when I take a look at uh, silver. Now let's go take a look at Dr. Copper out here. Let's go see what uh, copper is doing. We're looking at the July contract here as well. Uh, let me see if I can get that going on my other system. Uh, nope, it didn't like that. I must not have the July contract out there. But that's okay. Let's take a look at this here. This is for Ruby. Uh, Ruby, you've got the 1 to 2 A to B equals CD to the downside. I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of that. What we don't like is you're, you're below a you're below the daily profile out there, which is $2.66. Today is is there's no today is not a bullish reversal candle yesterday was not a bullish reversal candle and uh, dr copper is let's go see is it trading into the swing point really close the swing point that it looks like it's eyeing uh is january 3rd and that top of that was two six two point six three three the low today two point six three six um i think ruby have got to be patient out here um, before trying to take a trade in Dr. Copper because, you know, price could always 
go seek out the bottom of that swing point from back in January, and that's at the 256 level out here. So that's what I see when I look at the shorter term time frames, 300, 120, 30. There's not anything significant that I see here. So I hope that help. I hope that helps you out when it comes to uh, what do uh, what are the traders, what are bulls and bears doing when it comes to Dr. Copper? All right, so no questions, no other questions. If there was a question in the den and I've overlooked it, please retype that in for me. Um, oh, I see Phil's got a question here. So Phil is asking, oh, no, what happened? Uh, oh, Phil is just writing in about what happened with Amarin. Phil? On my phone, I cannot make this out. Sorry. Uh, uh, now it says top line results from VASEPA, cardiovascular outcomes trial. So I don't know if that's the same drug that um, that we were talking about earlier with Ron or not, but uh, uh, but that's what happened. So hey, Phil, it's always great to have tigers and tigresses at your back it's just the print out there is so small i can't read it on my my phone you can sort of see it out there really hard to uh really hard to uh, to read but thanks and i might as well show you the back of the phone too it, although probably i can't use that much this year right go fins um, maybe that's for years to follow okay so uh all the questions i believe we've gotten to so the question for me is well what are we going to do what are we going to do with the rest of our time what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, what's Stevie doing? What Stevie is doing or watching? I'm watching. So one of the things I've been working on today is trying to under, the, the markets typically have these beautiful flows to them. And it's just up to you and I to be able to try to identify them. Now, one of the, this is a, by the way, this is the NQ. And it's the NQ, the Dow, even the Russell 2000 that I'm spending most of my time in trying to understand um, where do we get the highest probability of either the counter trend rally, any counter trend rallies, or where we've seen a change in trend take place. And these green lines out here, these I've, I've turned off everything except for the lines. You're only seeing green lines, which are resistance levels out here. And when price closes over resistance, it tells you that, okay, either something is cracked, like it did back here in the February, December time frame. It wasn't a 240-minute chart, though, that gave us our signals. It was a shorter-term time frame chart. But what I always like to see is I always like to see, okay, these, these resistance levels get set up price takes it out uh, sometimes resistance old resistance becomes new support when you take a look at where my cursor is at out here and so uh, now what we can see is you can see these resistance levels on this 240 minute time frame chart out here and you can see the one that most recently formed that's right up here at this price point uh, was it about two o'clock in the afternoon the date I believe was yesterday it was uh, no it was two days ago and the high was 73 63 25 73 63 25 now look, tomorrow's show that I'm doing is going to be at eight o'clock eight to nine so tune in live but if we see or if you wake up in the morning and price is above that level out there you've got a change in trend on Friday, May 31st. It happened today, but we're not dealing with that as we speak right now. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30,000 to 75,000, the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, uh, Tucker mentioned something in the den about Lightsweed Crude. And uh, Tucker, here's a 30-minute chart for Lightsweed Crude. And so I know you listen in and, and, and so forth. And uh, if you take a look at when Lightsweed Crude formed a top this evening or this morning, it was at uh, 4 a.m. And as it was doing that at 4 a.m., at 4 a.m. on a 30-minute basis, it was the nine consecutive close above a close four bars earlier, and that set up that TD set up nine count. Uh, oftentimes, not always, but at bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine is when we can see highs or lows out there. And in this case here, it's certainly worked. Uh, uh, now, the other benefit of that, Tucker, was that it sets out the breakout area. So each time these red lines are the breakout areas, the green lines are the breakdown uh, levels out here. And uh, by 6.30 this morning, what we saw was a close below that breakout level, right? So when something breaks out, ideally, if you're trying to buy it, you'd like to be able to buy it where it broke out, because the assumption there is that uh, support should hold. Those traders that were involved with helping to push price up, uh, we're part of that breakout. When price gets back to that breakout level, it should hold. That's the theory. So when price closes below that, what it tells me, if we just step back and we take a look and we read information, it says they're not there. And if those buyers aren't there on the breakout level, all of a sudden you close below breakout, price should continue to move lower. Now, in this case here, you can forget about the green lines. Uh, because what you look for is the next breakout level. Well, that next breakout level is, in essence, where price is broken through during this 1.30 to 2 o'clock session. That breakout level was right here. This started, by the way, the breakout level 1 o'clock in the afternoon on May 29th. That price point was 57.33, so price is trading below that. Now, the, caution, the question is, well, where is price headed to? We're down below a level where it broke out, but this looks like in this next 30 minutes here, as this 2 o'clock bar comes to a close, you're going to get to bar number 8. That means bar number 9 by 2.30, bar number bar following 9 at 3 o'clock. So it's possible 
Tucker, if you were one that was short light sweet crude and you were trading intraday, you really should start paying attention between 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon and watch price as it, uh, as long as it's making a lower close below the bar four bars earlier out there. And this is how, and so this is in essence is, not in essence, it's exactly the same tool that you and I just looked at as we were going to break inside the NQ, just a different time frame, and one where I'm looking for levels of where resistance, um, you know, is held in essence. So um, I'm scanning multiple time frame charts, even time frames that we don't normally look at to see if I can find the, the rhythm, the rhythm of the uh, markets out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at uh, Light Suite Crew. Just thought I would put that out there because, uh, Tucker, you can use that. You can use that uh, set of tools to help you understand why something is doing what it's doing out there, albeit that was just a short-term time frame. Um, but we can put it on any time frame and uh, really get the same type of information out here. So uh, John in Sarasota said, hey, I was disconnected if you give me the short redux of, of uh, Joe. Uh, it's really simple out here. Uh, uh, coffee is broken above the top of its daily and weekly profiles. It's really the weekly profile since you were cut off. Let me give you that number. Give me a second to uh, put the coffee back up on the uh, screen and because uh, we want you to have this information the level you're watching for as far as a close tomorrow that you'd like to see inside of uh, the coffee contract more so than joe the etf is a coffee contract to close above 100.68 or 102.20 close above that is a real indication of a change in trend out there john so in essence that's what we uh, took a uh, look at um and i hope that that helps you out now ruby saying the coffee reached an all-time high in April 1977, record low. Okay, just providing some additional information out there. Uh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy D, uh, Jimmy Dean in uh, Sausage out here would like to take a look at uh, Nvidia. So if we go take a look at Nvidia, we look at the three different time frames. Nvda out here. And what is it that you're looking for? Thoughts and levels of NVIDIA, if you have time. Uh, stalking for an entry on this decline, bottom fishing candidate. Okay, so let's go. Great question, and NVIDIA. Let's uh, clear the deck, so to speak. Let's look at the daily, weekly, and uh, monthly time frame. Now, now, you'd really don't like to see this, Jimmy. Uh, the month comes to an end tomorrow. The bottom of the monthly profile in the center of the monthly profile, each are 141.29. We're at 138.78. Closing below that, not really good. Now, maybe price is just going to target the point of control on a quarterly basis of 134.69. Or maybe what it's really going to do is target the bottom of the quarterly, the quarterly profile, 114.93. 114.93. Now, let's take a look at the daily charts, Stevie's other tools. Well, today is going to be day number nine of its TD setup nine count. Its TD setup count doesn't give a rat anything with regard to what the uh, uh, TAS market profile levels are. So here we've got really more of a uh, advanced warning indicator out here. So, so, you know, it's possible, Tucker, tomorrow or the next day, Friday, I could be it. Now, look, if you don't get any kind of bullish reversal signal out here, don't 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 come near this at this stage. Um, but uh, it could be today or tomorrow. Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't go near it as we speak right now. That's the daily time frame shows the potential, right? The weekly though uh, shows uh, you know, trouble in River City. Trouble in River City um, says, hey, I want to go back and go back to the December bottom out here. Maybe take it out. Maybe take it out out here. So, yeah, uh, NVIDIA's had a, uh, a a nice pullback, a big pullback, but broken through levels of support out here. And so for bottom fishing, we really want to we really want to try and look at look at how this made a top out here. The roads momentum indicator signal from a monthly basis right back here in October of uh, last year, 2018. And uh, the breakout area, by the way, on a monthly basis, comes all the way back to this bar right here, May 2017, and that low is 102.31. So 102.31 really may be longer term where it's targeting. Um, it could find a bottom. 
you know, so watch that, not really today so much. It could find a bottom uh, perhaps tomorrow, which would really mean more so Monday. But I think you got to be careful here because of what the bigger picture is um, as we speak at the moment. So I um, uh, hope that helps you out as you go bottom fishing out here. And, and that's really about buying bottoms, right? You know, the worst possible advice anybody could ever give you um, or anyone out there is to uh, sell high and buy low. You talk about truly useless, a useless, how did that phrase, which is so useless, absolutely useless, uh, become part of normal talk? You know, you want to buy bottoms and sell tops. Buy low? No, you got to find the bottom. And that's what that's what that's what uh, uh, that what uh, Jimmy is trying to do here, and that's why you want to pay attention to that TD setup nine count or Rhodes went to indicator top. Hey, take a look at Nvidia on the daily basis. What did it do? Formed both of them. Those are tops. Right. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, flat markets out here. Uh, Dow's up six. S and P is up a couple. Nasdaq 100 up uh, 10 points out here. How about those uh, Treasury bonds? How about that 30-year Treasury trade down to 152.28 out here? So this is kind of interesting. If we take a look at um, 
the short-term time frame chart, the 30-minute chart out here. Uh, we've taken a look at these levels a couple different times during the different segments out here. Uh, but those of you that are, are are familiar with the show, you know that we look at these all the time. Uh, by the way, speaking of all the time, tomorrow's show is going to be recorded. It'll be live from 8 to 9 a.m. You can tune in. Uh, you can do it the same way you tune in. You can watch it at Tiger TV. You can, uh, uh, you know, listen on your device out there. Uh, certainly, I'd love to see you in the den. And I uh, would love to get questions that I can answer for you. I'll make the show, as I always do, as pertinent as I can for the 1 to 2 o'clock hour, if you can't catch that. Here, when we take a look at these support and resistance levels, these breakout and breakdowns, I'm only showing you the last two, meaning the red lines are support. That's the breakout level. Uh, when uh, something breaks out, you like to see price come back to that breakout level to give you the buy. If you were a short-term trader of 30-year uh, treasuries, that's exactly what took place at 3.30 and 4 o'clock this morning. And then price went ahead moved higher and created what? Created that TD setup nine count. There's your ninth bar out there. Price moves lower. It moves lower where? Right into that breakout area next. And now what we're watching to see is can the 30-year Treasury take out resistance? Resistance not being the high, resistance being the candle session from 1.30 in the afternoon yesterday. And that high is 152 and 31 30 seconds out there. Um, so um, this is how support resistance right now. We know price is up near resistance on the 30-minute uh, Treasury bond. So, folks, uh, thanks so much for being here. I know we've got a great show lined up for you while David is on vacation from 2 to 3. And, of course, Tom O'Brien to take us home from 3 to 5. I'll be back with you tomorrow live from 8 to 9, recorded on Memorex from 1 to 2. So have a terrific Thursday, a thirsty Thursday, and I'll see you on fabulous Friday. Take care.